Well, hey everybody, it's Shani with the Nostalgic Owl, and I am actually on my way to a couple thrift stores, hoping to take you along with me. It is Tuesday, January, no, what day is it? Yes, it is Tuesday. <laughs> I am on call this week, and I was up half the night, so... Um, I did not want to get out, but it's been so long since I've thrifted and yeah, so I'm just going to step away from my house for a little bit. Um, I did not post a video last week. Let me tell you something. The Midwest, the weather here is nuts. I am unable to upload videos from my house because I live by Table Rock Lake and you know how Wi-Fi is just flourishing everywhere else in the world? Well, it is not where I live. So whenever I upload videos, I have to drive into a coffee shop or library and sit there until a video will upload and um or download upload download you know what i mean so anyway yeah so i'm gonna try and do that while i'm out as well because it has been a little bit since i have been able to get one posted for you i am a part-time reseller i have a full-time job i am a full-time hospice on-call nurse and so reselling is my hobby that is sort of my part-time job um, it really depends on what I have going on in my life I usually thrift at least once a week and a lot of times it is on Tuesday but it just kind of depends so um, my goal I have a goal right now to post five items a day for sale I don't hit that goal you know if I have other things going on in my life um, like family time or something like that I am going to shift my attention there and yeah so this last weekend was my husband's birthday we went to Wichita Kansas to see his brother and yeah I did not get thrifting done we had a great time anyway a little bit about me so the weather now last week when I was off of work the weather was treach. <laughs> so I, for three days, I could not really get out. Um, the road I live on in Missouri is very hilly, curvy. Um, you don't want to be out on it when the weather is bad. So we had about three days of that. And then it got better through the weekend when I was gone. And then um, yesterday morning, we woke up to nothing but sheets of ice. And it finally, by like 1 p.m., it started thawing here. So, yeah, so I was able to drive last night and go to some calls. And I am now on my way to thrift stores. So there's three thrift stores I want to hit before I go to a coffee shop. And I'm hoping to take you guys along with me. And thank you so much. I have some new followers and I'm super stoked um, that you are joining me on this journey. Um, feel free to like, subscribe, and leave a comment and I will see you there.
Hey, hey everybody, I am back. About a week later, but I'm back. I finally pulled out my treasures I got at the thrift stores. So I have listed them all in my inventory. I'm getting ready to go through and figure out where I'm gonna post them. If you don't know me, my name's Shani. I go by The Nostalgic Owl on uh, Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. eBay is my main selling platform. I'm a part-time reseller very part-time reseller. I'm an on-call nurse, full-time job. And so this is kind of my hobby, my part-time gig, <laughs> and I enjoy it. So um, I feel like in life, you have to have something you enjoy, and I very much enjoy this. I wish I could make it my full-time job, but that takes a lot, a lot of work. And so I'm a long ways off from being able to do that. So for now, I'm fine with it being my part-time hobby, but I went to three thrift stores um, on the day I posted my previous videos. And my first thrift store I went to, I got six items. Um, it's Bag of Bargain Thrift Store in Branson, West Missouri. And you can get as many items as you can find. You can stick them in a Walmart sack and it's $10. So depends on what you what you can stuff in there normally if you have smaller items or items like clothing you can roll really good sometimes you can get like your cost of goods can be amazing this day um i did get some bigger pieces that i was able you can stick way more than you think in a walmart bag let me just say that so i'm just gonna get going this these items cost me uh, $10 for these six items. I primarily sell on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and then I also have a flea market booth um, locally. So when I find good pieces such as this, um, it, you know, it, I might be able to sell this on eBay, but I just don't want to hassle with the shipping. So yeah. So this is gonna go to my flea market booth. I know this right off the bat. Um, it is a home interiors, which tells me it's probably, it's probably going on vintage, truthfully. If you don't know, home interiors, um, it actually was bought out by Home and Garden Party um, several years ago. And yeah, and they, so, basically i don't want to say they folded but home and garden party bought them out and then home and garden party totally changed and i don't even know if it's still around i don't think it's still around but anyway this is a butter homes collection country in exclusively by home interior so home interiors must have got better homes to work with them and it is just one of these condiment um divided tr ceramic trays and it's on a wooden base. And so really, you know, these are awesome for parties, um, for the holidays, um, olive, cheese, sausage trays. So I'm gonna put this in my booth and I'll probably mark it for $15 maybe. Um, so I will put it in my local booth. So yeah, this fit in a Walmart bag with five other items, guys. So you can fit quite a bit quite a bit in a Walmart bag, if you didn't know. Next item is this little girl's Matilda Jane, size 12. These are kind of like the culotte shorts with the ruffle on the bottom. Very cute. If you're not familiar with Matilda Jane, the resale value has really gone down on it. Do I still pick them up? Yes, I still pick them up. So um, there are, there is a following on Matilda Jane clothing, there is a following. So, um, you know, this might only bring eight to $10 if that, but they were too cute to leave. And Matilda Jane is not a cheap brand. So this is a 10 tree blend. I'm gonna show you the back first. Isn't that so cute? And this is just an outdoors brand and <clears throat> comps on this on t-shirts are anywhere from eight to fourteen dollars so I it's in excellent condition which is one of the reasons I picked it up 
and my husband might want it because it is an extra large. So we shall see. Um, this next item I actually picked up to see if I could wear it. It is a new day. So that is a target line. It's an extra large. I tried this on. It's just not really my style. It's this boho striped. Um, it's kind of like a high low. It's pretty cropped in the front, which is where I was like, <laughs> maybe not, but it's in excellent condition. I typically stopped picking up it's 55% linen. So it's really hard for me not to pick up some of the Target brands because there are girls that they that's what they buy. They're pretty for being Target, it's a pretty good um I don't see they're great quality, but I think you know what I mean. You know, it's pretty good quality for what it is. And this Universal Thread, the Anude, um, it's not cheap. Even at Target, it's, I'm cheap, okay? I buy all my clothes at thrift stores. But I think you know what I mean when I say for being, you know, at Target, they're really kind of stepping up their game on their clothes. So I don't know. I might put this in my booth. I might try it online and just post it for so much but it is a linen blend, so that has a great factor. This next piece, I cannot leave. It is this vintage Joan Leslie yellow black tweed blazer. Look at that, you guys. Can you say old money? And it is a size 14, so I wish I could. Let me see if I can adjust this just a little bit. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? It's so cool. Um, so anyway, I'm not going to keep it, but comps on this probably um, $22 to $30. And I will use old money in my description. It's kind of got a black, yellow, and this royal blue plaid. Um, and then the collar is like this velour. So, really pretty. It's got this one little stain spot. Let's see if I can't get that out. But it's beautiful. And I picked it up. Like, the color factor is super amazing on that. So, okay. Last item, I really grabbed this. It was unique. And I make those um, holiday crafts that I make. So, my idea was... I was gonna get this. I was gonna put an Easter tree in its head, decorate it with some Easter ornaments. And so I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm putting it in my inventory and I'm like, you know, this looks, it looks unique, right? And so on the bottom, it says Bethany Low Designs. So I ended up Google shotting this and um, come to find out you guys, this is like a crepe paper mache even though it kind of feels like a resin of some sort, it's super thick. Um, but this is the Mama Lamb, um, Mama Le Lamb, it wasn't head vase. I forget what they call it. But anyway, a set of three of these, this is sold out online by the way. A set of three of these went for $85 on eBay when you look up the last 90 days. So when you filter the solds, there's a set of three of these that went for $85. So I was gonna keep this and craft with it, but I think I'm gonna try it online and see what I can get. Um, yeah, online they are sold out. And let me show you the bottom. It says Bethany Low Designs, made in the Philippines very cute and it's it's kind of the right time to post this so i'm gonna post this online and see what i can get off of it but i was pleasantly surprised and this really goes to show if you see something unique and you're just like 
There's something about this piece. Get it. Most of the time, your instincts are talking to you for a reason. And so, you know, who would have thought comps on this would be, this was $39 online and it is sold out. So who would have thought? I wouldn't have thought, but it does. You can just tell it's kind of a higher quality look to it. And I don't know. It's really cute though, right? So I was excited to get it. I'm kind of sad I can't craft with it because I was like, man, this would be super fun to craft with. But I'm going to post it online. If it doesn't sell, maybe I'll craft with it later. So anyway. All right, there's the one thrift store. The second thrift store I went to, I only got a few items. It was kind of like, I don't want to say a strikeout day. It just... I'm trying to be more picky, even though it might not seem like I'm being picky. I'm pretty limited on where I can go and when I can go. And so I know I've said it before. Um, if, if you're like me and you live in a certain area and you're very kind of limited on your time and where, where you can go, try not to get discouraged. You're going to have good days. You're going to have bad days. Sometimes you pick up lower um, lower quality items, maybe, maybe more bread and butter items that, um, you know, your, your ROI is not going to be as great. Um, and sometimes that's, that gets you by <laughs> until you can find better items. And so try not to get discouraged. I know I get discouraged. Um, but I also am realistic to the fact that I'm a little limited on, my time and where I can go. So anyway, the next thrift store, I found these New Balance, Men's New Balance. They definitely, you can tell they have some wear. The soles are still pretty nice. They've got Vibram soles. They were marked at $7. They were having a 25% off sale. Um, I think they were 25% off. I think I ended up getting these for $5 and something. So, um, these are a size 10 and they're trail shoes. And when I, um, Googled these, they comps are anywhere from 40 up to a hundred dollars on these, the resale value comps. And so I was pleasantly surprised. I definitely put them in my cart. They have a great color scheme to them. And so I'm just going to clean them up a little bit. I might give them a good wash and let them air dry and then um, get them posted. So anyway, yeah, these are, I was, I was pleasantly surprised. I love the colorway on these, by the way. Um, anyway, I like colorful, fun shoes. And then all the other items I got from this thrift store are all these Mayberry Street miniatures. And these you can get at, I think it's Hobby Lobby. Yes, they're Hobby Lobby. And there are people that actually, they make little miniature, um, what do I, I want to say? Little mini, miniature like doll houses and um, scenes. They make little miniature scenes. And so they use these. And so... There are, like, these do have some comps online. I don't know. So, I got these thinking maybe I will just put a huge lot on eBay. And these are all new. Let me show you. Like, this bag was $2.50 for all these. I think I paid $1.50 for the rest. They were having a sell that day, so... Like miniature pots and pans. Look at that. <laughs> Is that a, the cutest miniature vase? I <laughs> like these are so cute. A bucket. Uh, more. Uh, these are supposed to be like enamel pots and pans. Lantern little um, planter pots. So anyway, I got these. I think I paid. When it was all said and done, I think I paid like $4.50 for all of this. Wagons. Um, so anyway, I'm going to try it. And this is what I was just saying. I, don't, I didn't know much about these. I mean, look, at Hobby Lobby, $2.99 for this one. So it's not like they cost a bunch. 
But if you can lot something like this together, and um, especially if Hobby Lobby doesn't have these anymore, which I haven't looked into that, I'm going to today. And we'll see, I don't know. I'm just gonna give it a try. So my last thrift store, um, this thrift store is really going down and it's really kind of depressing me because I used to pull out some amazing items here. And over the last couple years, I've just watched it go down and down and down and they've had some management issues. Um, they used to actually like design it and you walk in and it's like, I don't know. It just was way prettier than it is now. And not only that, but the cost of goods are going way up. And I know, I think that's kind of happening everywhere, but I just kind of look for those things that maybe someone mismarked <laughs> or they just didn't um, realize what they had. So the first item is this Be Happy Quilt puzzle. It's by Lori Holt. These comp, if you don't know, puzzles, some puzzle and puzzle brands can comp very well on eBay. This one comps anywhere from like $16 up to $22. Her line of puzzles do. So this was super cute. Be happy quilt puzzle, a thousand piece. And it, this one is open. So while I do, I love puzzles. I just opened it. I could tell someone took care of it because this is still here. The pieces are still sorted together. So I like to put them together, make sure all the pieces are here and then post them or put them in my flea market booth. So that's what I'm gonna do. I paid a dollar, toys were half off this day. So I paid a dollar 50 for this. And um, yeah, they consider puzzles a toy. So I was kind of, I like the puzzle, so I would have bought it for myself anyway, but this gives me a chance to, to do the puzzle and then sell it. So this item, I did look up because it just had that look about it that I needed to look it up. It is, it's a wool, alpaca, polyester, and angora blend. It is a Boyne Valley Weavers handcrafted in Ireland. It's a, a button up jacket. I paid $4 and um, it is a size 3X. So amazing size. And it's just this button up wool blend jacket. Um, comps on this were pretty good. I wanna say they were like 30 to $40. Um, but the factors of wool, alpaca, um, Angora, like that's awesome. Made in Ireland, size 3X. Those are all great, great factors. So anyway, for $4, I was like, yes. Cause typically like they, they mark up their clothing. I've watched their clothing go from everything $3, $3 a piece. And they would have bag sales occasionally to now just standard like, Chico's, I'm just gonna say Chico's is $6 a piece. You can get some items for $4, but it's usually like that, like someone didn't know what they had. Jeans, they're starting to mark their jeans up to six to $8 a piece. Um, so anyway, I was, I was very happy. So the last three items I got were these Next, I always check out the dolls to make sure um, I'm not missing like a American Girl doll. So these are all next generation dolls um, and <laughs> none of them really are clothed. I got to do some hair control, but they're all in great shape. And this one, she has a little T-Rex costume and this is actually a Build-A-Bear costume. I'm gonna take it off of her and it's got a stain on it. So I need to wash this. So I might be able to post this Build-A-Bear um, set separately, but um, I'm gonna kind of give these a wash. I'm not gonna post them on eBay. I'm actually gonna put them in my thrift store for, you know, five bucks a piece. 
Next Generation um, dolls, they don't go for a ton. They, I mean, it really depends on which doll you have. And most of the ones on like sold comps, they have their clothes, maybe they're new in the box. Um, this is, you know, a cheaper version. They definitely don't bring what American Girl dolls bring. But I am going to, okay, so this is not a next generation. I know this one is, this one's a next generation. You're, you're right, because I looked them up. This is a city toy, which they are kind of like next generations. These two are. Um, so anyway, I'm going to post them for like five or six bucks a piece in my booth. I'm going to work on kind of brushing their hair and trying to make them look a little better. I wish I had some clothes for them, but I don't. So I might keep my eye open for some clothes and then um, that'll definitely bump up the sell factor. So anyway, these are going to go in my flea market booth. I have a little section in my flea market booth for kids and I find that it actually, if you guys have flea market booths, mark a section for kids. Yes, it's a disaster sometimes. I come in here, I come in and I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta pick up all these. But um, it's very, very, very like easy for a parent to say, you can have that if you're good through the rest of the store. <laughs> and I actually, I sell a lot of kids toys. No, they don't bring a whole bunch, um, but it's kind of like that additional, like maybe the parents shopping in my booth. It gives the kids something to do and keeps them calm. And then I end up selling, you know, a toy with, with something the parent um, bought. So it's kind of an additional little nook in my booths that I have. I have two booths and they're right next to each other. And so um, there's a lot of toys I don't want to post online, but it, like you can find so many toys at the bins for cheap, 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 cheap. So that's usually where I get my toys from. And then um, I just put them in my booth and they sell, they sell pretty, pretty good. Um, so anyway, just, just a little hint for you. If you have a flea market booth, it's a great way to um, earn some additional income you know, get those um, toys cheap at the bins or outlets or something like that. And then um, just put them in your flea market booth. So anyway, that's all for now. Thank you all so much um, for joining me. Don't forget to hit that like button. And I appreciate all of you so much. And I will catch you next time.